yesterday's game, Bengaluru against Mumbai. Um, two coaches who face each other and where one coach, in this case, Lubera, never beat it. Um, Coudoua, so a very interesting game uh, to look at. And there were some, yeah, a very interesting details or dynamics to look at. Uh, the first thing, Bangaluru lined up in a 4-2-3-1 formation. And as always, Lobero's team, uh, the same 4-2-3-1. Now, what is important to me was the lineup. And uh, normally, it's all about try to anticipate before a game what is going to happen. There is no guarantee that they will happen. But at the same time, sometimes you can not predict, but you can almost calculate uh, chances that that uh, that how things are going right or how things are going wrong now the first thing i look at is uh, brown who was uh, postured on the right side he's a striker to me he's not a winger yes we can argue that uh, he can do his job on the right side but in all what i saw also yesterday you can already uh, almost predict as we did before the lineup is that he will have to run after mander mander is going forward we know that and as a striker uh, if you are a right winger and you have to follow uh, all the time, you will not get the maximum, in this case, out of Brown. Now, this is purely my view, so uh, do whatever you want with it. Uh, the second thing was that upset, basically all the game, or especially, especially the first half, only was running after Jahu. In my opinion, because I asked the coach uh, after the game, uh, that they were um, adapting to the opponent. He clearly uh, yeah, has the numbers to back it up in the last years, always in the transition, winning uh, against uh, Lobera's team. But what I would say is, yeah, he had different players there. You have um, a, a different setup. What my point is that I didn't understand why he would not play with two strikers up front and you can still eliminate Yahoo. Look at how... Uh, how Chennai in it uh, did not too long ago. But what happened, uh, as I said it on the TV even, when Jahu would go to the toilet, uh, Upset would follow him. And that is something, yeah, that is, is too literally um, man-marking where I say it cost them uh, the, 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 the first half. So, and Brown following all the time Mander and Upset all the time following uh, Jahu. Yeah, in my opinion, it is not the right thing to do. Uh, I understand the, the thought process behind it to play on the counter-attack, but I think if you play with two strikers up front, um, or instead of um, Brown on the right side, Udanta with speed, I would understand better, uh, but I will get back to that in a bit. Now, there is a, um, a, justif a justifiable uh, thought behind it in the second minute, where exactly that happened, what uh, Coudroy had in mind. In this case here, Burgess, he wants to play a ball to the wing. He loses the ball, it gets uh, caught up uh, by Cabra. So he keeps the ball, then he takes the ball out to their centre-back and the centre-back right away plays forward. A long ball, and you can see it here where Upset tries to win the, the ball. And in this case, Brown tries to dive into that area to flick over the ball. Uh, that didn't happen. In this case, um, uh, go, oh, sorry, not go. Uh, Mumbai's uh, defender uh, Hernan catches the ball. Uh, he flicks it off, and the ball gets with Clayton. And Clayton plays right away a D ball, where again Brown is going for the D ball and gets it. And in this case, he's going one v one towards the goalkeeper. The ball did not even went on the goal. I'm not going to blame any striker uh, for not scoring because you never score. You never try to miss, but in the end, we still have to conclude that the strikers of Bangaluru in the last two years not really delivering. That is just a fact. Uh, that is not a, um, uh, how do you call it, trying to make sensation or however you want to call it. It's just a simple fact. And this, if you score this ball, it will become a complete different game. Now, if we look at the 1-0, um, it was a corner. Uh, played to the back post, that ball is played in and uh, again it's, yeah, how do you call it, chipped or headered again uh, into the, the five yard box. And this is the point here where I say here Murtada as fall is surrounded by three Bangaluru players, the keeper and the two centre backs. 
Now there was claimed that there was a foul, but the way I see it was clearly power. You see it from this angle where this ball is played and uh, where we get the following is that basically Murtada Fall is just stronger. It's core strength that uh, is used in order to score this goal. So not a fall to me. We go to the 2-0 and this is important where we spoke about just before. The first thing we look at is upset here all the time following Jahu. Uh, and we see here even, um, so we, we, this is like a couple together. You see even Suresh every time following a Bomos, uh, another couple. So that means Suresh is stepping out of the midfield. It's another couple that we say. And now the thing is this, Hernan has all the time, every time on this side, and it was also on the other side, to enter, to penetrate with no pressure. And this tactically is completely, yeah, you can solve it in a complete different way than just saying, okay, make a couple, you follow him, you follow that. As I said, Chennai before did that greatly. The two strikers up front, or the striker in this case, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, Crivillaro. Uh, together with uh, the striker of Chennai, um, they both were cooperating to eliminate uh, Jahu, uh, Silvestre, it was the striker, and they were eliminating them. So it's a matter of cooperating, but just sticking one to one, one to one, yeah, that cost them the two goals. I'm 100% I'm, I'm sure of that. What you get now is the following the ball is, uh, he's, he's entering the midfield, uh, Suresh is stepping out of the midfield. So that means you're opening up lines. Um, if you solve this, in this case for uh, Brown, to step in and close those passing lines, if you train on these things, maybe they did. Uh, but then I go back again, Brown is not a winger, he's a striker. He's probably less able to do this uh, or not for a full 90 minutes. Um, so we get the situation where Hanan all the way gets into the midfield, where you see here uh, that Bipin, and that was... Uh, uh, Mumbai all the time doing Bipin goes inside and then we had on this side uh, Mander uh, he's outside of the picture now was moving forward that was their movement and to solve this is pretty easy to be honest uh, but in this case now the ball is played into uh, Le Fondre and yeah Chod Chodari I uh, hopefully I say their name right he should step in marking and in this case, what we saw is that Cabra is stepping into the midfield, opening up on the right side where Mander is completely free. We play the ball, so he opens up and you get a fantastic cross. As I said, Brown has to follow. And this was not the only moment in the game. There were three, four same exactly moments where Brown has to follow back uh, and uh, run after Mander. And I think, yeah, if you put... Uh, Udanta there, or a winger, a real winger, it would be more functional. But again, that is my personal opinion. Then we get that cross in, a fantastic cross, but then of course Bippin is uh, in between defensively, that should be a, bitter, uh, a little bit better organized, but at the same time the cross was fantastic. The second half, um, Bangaluru took more initiative, and wh when I say I said it as take the bull by the horns, be more physical, be more direct. And I will paint the picture here where I say that you could play with two strikers and be more functional there. You see here that Bengaluru gets the ball, uh, overall dominated the second half, not with too many chances, but they were more in control of the game. You see here Mumbai is waiting for the press, that press is happening, they played a long ball. And then what you see here is that here uh, Chatri flicks the ball over and this is Clayton who goes into that corner. So I want to point out that if you play with two strikers, if this is Brown, uh, together with Upset, uh, you get that similar idea. That ball is flicked over and uh, Clayton gets into, uh, in, into the corners and you get a more direct game. So even if we keep Brown out and put Odanta on the, on, the, on the wing, maybe this strategy, what you're seeing here, would have worked better. Then they get into the box and Murtada Fall uh, makes the sliding on the ball. It was not a penalty uh, that was clearly to see in the, in the replay, but that the referee was far away and could not see that, that I can understand, but it was not a penalty. Now, my point was this, if you start, and that's what uh, 
the coach of Bengaluru said before or after the game, their plan was to play on the counter attack. He beat uh, Goa last year, or in this case, um, uh, the, the coach of uh, Mumbai uh, many times like this. So my first question would be why not play like this, those two up front, or leave Brown out then and play with Odonta on the right side because yeah, defensively he, he does not fulfill his uh, his game there properly and upset all the time playing on Jahu. With two strikers, you can easily uh, solve this problem uh, by eliminating Jahu. Yes, that doesn't mean it will always work, but you have to make a calculation uh, in, in trying to eliminate option as, mu as much as possible. I will end with uh, Mumbai City. Uh, the difference between last year Lobela Goa and this year Mumbai, I think they have the scoring ability, uh, but even what Kudwa said, he uh, all the time won against uh, Lobera, uh, is on the counter attacks. Uh, and defensively, and I can confirm that to me as a coach, is Lube that's why I asked uh, Lobera after the game, uh, do you think that Murtada Fall and the goalkeeper will be the decisive elements for you to become champion? The scoring ability they have, we saw that also last year. But to me, and that is something in the long run we can see, uh, is those two will be the decisive factors for, uh, to, to win the championship. Why? I will show you the following picture. Uh, you see here the front line trying to press. And what is, uh, we'll get back to it in a bit. Then we have the middle line uh, during that press and we have the defensive line during that press. And any time I played against Lobera team, it was always in the transition or the attacking set pieces uh, try to score from. And this is the same what also Kudwa said, the way he beat them many times on the, in the uh, transition moments. But overall, their defensive organization is never that great. And what I want to point out is always the spaces between the lines. And if you go see all the games, you will see many times Murtada fall. It's like the role that Pujol had at Barcelona. Always the one last at the last moment catching the ball. And that's a great strategy. That is fantastic. Uh, but as a team, uh, the compactness could be way better. Uh, and it's the same thing, as I said, with the keeper. If you want to be champion, you need a striker who can score goals and you need a great goalkeeper. So this is for me, for Mumbai, the key thing to become champion. Uh, not the attacking part, because we, we know that and we also saw that the last three seasons. And I think in this area, Lobera can improve a lot uh, his, and his defensive set pieces. Uh, but moreover, the compactness in transition moments and even during pressing. So don't understand me wrong here. It's about uh, they are cruising uh, Mumbai and doing really well. But if I have to give the most chance for the championship, I will again give it to ATK Mahon Bagan, while I think that Mumbai City has more overall quality. Um, that, ends, uh, that ends us up with... The last thing is ja of, uh, yeah, Jahu got another red card. Uh, the first yellow card, I'm not sure it was uh, because I see it a bit different. I'm not going to go into it. The second one was, yes, a yellow card in my opinion. Uh, but having another red card and their next game is against ATK Mohon Bagan. So that is a huge loss. Uh, it's not going to be the decisive game in the league, but I do think it's a very important game to take the advantage and the reasons why I uh, what I uh, why I just explained to you is about the compactness. I think ATK there has and the scoring ability and is more compact. So I think they have the advantage uh, in the end to become champion. But we only can see that in the long run. That's it. I'll see you at the next one.